Welcome back. Maybe you're having breakfast right now and a St. Paul favorite is on the move. Mark Hugh Patisserie Paris relocated to Dale Street where it now feels like a scene maybe out of Emily in Paris. Oh, my girls love that show. <laughs> Shane Wells introduces us to the man behind the decadent treats this morning. A second ago, I was in St. Paul and then I went through these doors and I was magically transported to Paris. What a wonderful vacation. I didn't have to go that far. Mark Hugh, new location open now near D Dale and Selby, but on Dale right here. Okay, give us the full name because you say it so much more beautifully than I do. Mark Hugh, Patisserie Paris. See, love it. So this is a new location for you. You were open earlier in Frogtown and just a, a week or so ago, you opened here. Tell us about this new location and what you're excited about. The gives you more opportunities than the last one. Well, this location, I mean, I don't know if you could tell, but we have ceilings now. So that's something that our guests can just come and instead of just taking the pastries or eating in a car or wait to get home, they can just appreciate it right away on the spot. And uh, we have uh, coffee, we have uh, drinks. So yeah, that's a totally new experience that we're very happy to offer. Yeah, more customer offerings for sure. And when you walk in right away, you see these absolutely beautiful, delicate, pastries and desserts and then you look around and there's not a menu to know what am I looking at but that was by design explain how that works yes so that was the whole purpose so when our guests will come I mean we have like a wonderful staff that can just explain to you exactly what you are having here and uh, for example this one right here it's a Paris Brest so it was made in honor of a race uh, from Paris to Brest a bicycle race and it's a cream puff uh, filled with a hazelnut uh, buttercream and everything here is next level when it comes to ingredients and these creations? I mean, next level in the sense that uh, we are very fortunate that we can get the, the best product on the planet uh, to our little corner in St. Paul, and uh, we just want to offer the best to our guests. Oh, and that's the, the part of it, is to make it as authentic to yes. this Parisian experiment, yes. experience, but here as well. Yes. So your background, I mean, you're born in France and trained there, worked in New York City as well, and worked with all these top chefs and, and these world-renowned pastry chefs. How did you end up here? Why are you bringing this to us? And thank you. Um, well, it's pretty simple. It's just love. I mean, I came here on vacation uh, during the summer, and I met a girl that ended up being my wife. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just love Minnesota. Yeah, people are so wonderful, and it's just a dream come true. As I was reading your story, Siraj and I were talking about it, uh -huh. and we were like, that is the lifetime, that is a lifetime movie. You could have a movie about your life. It is, yeah. You're lucky. Yeah. Fantastic. I, I wouldn't be able to play myself again. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. That's okay. You can pick who you want to play you. Uh, I appreciate you showing us this all. You pointed out this one, but let's give them one more. How about one of the um, beautiful croissants? So this one is called a Vinoiserie. So from here we have a chocolate croissant, au pain au chocolat. Uh, this one is uh, called escargot because it's shaped like a snail. So escargot just means uh, snail in French. This one is a Queen Aman, uh, au pain au raisin, and everybody recognizes this shape. It's a butter croissant. Look at the shine on that, the size. Yeah. That is a good looking croissant. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. And if you guys want to check out Marc Hugh Patisserie Paris, you can come to see them there at Dale and Selby. They are open Monday through Sunday, so seven days a week, nine to three. Back to you. Oh my. Ooh, it looks so flaky. It looked fake. It did look it, fake. In the best in the best sense. We. Oui. Oh man. Yeah. I want some now. Uh-huh.